Obviously, first of all, congratulations to Kayla for her Female Athlete of the Year accolade. When she came in as a freshman, we as a staff thought that she might have a good shot at this award um, based on what we saw when she came in. And, and um, so we're really, really happy for her. My first thoughts are that with her God-given talent, her support of her family, and her competitive drive, unlike any other player I've ever coached, has made her into the athlete that she, you know, is today. And, and um, that combination is certainly one that we're going to miss because to have an athlete like that, you don't, you don't find them very often. My feeling as a coach was always, we had Kayla Klein and you didn't. And that gave us the advantage in every single game. And I'm sure Coach Bear feels this, Coach Montoro, sorry, feels the same way, um, you know, about Kayla and, and her, in, her impact on the team, on our teams. Kayla Klein is one of the most athletic, probably kids that we've had in our program in a really long time, um, at least since I've been here. And what people don't know, though, is she's probably a better person than she is an athlete. Um, and that speaks volumes to who she is as a person and how she was raised. Um, but that's what made her so special, you know? It was the relationships that she formed with her teammates and the bonds that she made with her coaches and um, professors and everybody throughout campus. Um, you won't hear a bad thing about Kayla on campus, and that's just because of the person that she is. Um, and that made her a tremendous athlete too. And you know, the accolades will come with it. She's a hard worker. Everybody knows that she works hard. Um, she just, it, it all comes to her and, and, and she deserves everything that she's uh, kind of earned. Well, most people don't know that she only really practiced the week before we went down there. She was kind of trying to do some things on her own, but she wasn't full um, until probably the end of the week. And, and that was her just determination to to play out her senior year and at that point we had no clue you know what was going to happen and to see her start you know the beginning of her senior year and just play so freely like it was awesome you know she had fun it was fun to watch her and uh she went out with a bang that's for sure um you know anytime that kayla comes up with bases loaded like you just have that feeling as a coach and you know it was the same thing when we played norwich she comes up, bases loaded, and you, you just know, you just know that she's gonna get the job done. She's been in that situation so many times, and it's just fun to see her produce in that situation and, you know, watch her teammates celebrate with her afterwards. Um, yeah, I have so many people to thank. Um, like you said, teammates, coaches, um, both Melissa and uh, Coach Ditzler. Um, I also would like to thank my parents. I mean, they've been with me through sports since I was little. Um, I'd also like to thank God. He's given me this ability to be able to do what I do. Um, I'd also like to thank Josh, Josh Gooch, our trainer. Uh, he's really helped me back after several knee injuries that I've had in college, and I probably would not have been where I was without him. I couldn't be happier with the teammates, the friendships that I've made. Um, just the teammates have pushed me, uh, both for softball and basketball, and having at least I'm glad we also got to go to Rural Beach. Uh, a lot of teams didn't even get to go on their spring break trip. So it was kind of a way that we could all be together, uh, even though it was coming to an end.